Everything old is new again. Yeah, well, g'day. Been out and about today with the old X-T2 and a bunch of old film camera lenses. Just checking them out. So I've got the Fujinon 55mm f1.8. I was able to pick that up just last week at an op shop. Got my old Helios 44.2, which I love. Uh, got an Indostar 50 uh, f3.5, Indostar 61, which is a 53mm. 2.8, uh, the Jupiter 8 50 f2, got a Pentax 50mm f1.7, and an Olympus 50mm f1.4. And going to Montalancy, which is just up the road from us, there's a blacksmith's convention, uh, so blacksmith's action, and knights and jousting and sword fights and stuff. So, how could I resist? And what's more, free entry bargain so taking all these lenses going to do a shootout at the Montalancy Corel okay so we'll check out what sort of images I'll able to get from all these different uh, old film lenses I'll be shooting most of them wide open so don't expect corner to corner sharpness I'm just seeing what sort of uh, contrast and detail and color that we can get from all these lenses up against each other okay so here we go so let's go check out the blacksmiths. Hey Fritz. Hello, how are you? Good, going well. You're on candy camera. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> So lovely gardens here at Montalancy. So don't forget to check them out. Beautiful trees, picnic areas. And uh, it is a lovely spot to be. So don't just uh, check out the blacksmiths, have a wander, check out the whole property, it's fantastic. So let's go through them, shall we? First up, start with the Fujinon lens that I picked up last week. Now I've heard good things about the Fujinons and I thought, yeah, this might be something really special. But in the end, it turned out to be adequate. <laughs> well, in low light conditions, it wasn't fantastic. Not much contrast there or anything, but uh, outside, it was quite good. You could get it sharp, good details, that sort of thing, but it didn't blow me away. Next I put on my old Helios 44.2, the old Russian lens that everybody loves for the bokeh, the swirly bokeh. However, I find it really good for other things. I find you can, uh, if you stop it down a bit, it is incredibly sharp. If you're into sharpness, you'll uh, certainly not be disappointed with this one. It's got good contrast. Uh, I find it a really good portrait lens. Picks up colours very, very well. Detail. Uh, is very good through that lens. I find it really punches above its weight and you can get it very cheap. Then of course there's the bokeh. Um, yeah you do get swirly bokeh under the right conditions. You have to sort of look for it though. But I find it is a really good lens to work with. A really good everyday lens not just for special occasions. So uh, yeah I recommend if you got one break it out and start using it again. Next, the Indostar 52. I found this one, yeah, lacking in contrast, a uh, bit flat, but you could focus it all right and get good, good sharpness and um, 
but yeah not as easy to use as, as the Helios 44 however if you got one yeah work it and it'll turn out all right the Interstar 61 that surprised me uh, again really good uh, detail good sharpness again I think it would be a good portrait lens the bokeh is very smooth nothing flash or uh, exorbitant about it it doesn't play tricks on you uh, it's just nice and smooth so yeah once again not a bad everyday lens good again for portraits I think you know once you nail the focus then everything else falls into place so well worth getting the Interstar 61 the Jupiter 8 another common Russian lens uh, that's out there pretty cheap again I found this one really good on the color and contrast excellent results uh, you have to work a bit harder to get to nail the focus I don't think it's quite as good but when you do you get great portrait shots like that next the Pentax <laughs> now this I didn't use this much today because I've used it in the past and I pretty much know what it's like you can get really good sharp images from this thing it punches well above its weight most people ignore it but the Pentax 51.7 is a good lens to use a good everyday lens to put on your camera next the Olympus 50 f 1.4 some people rave about this lens and everything I've used it in the past I only took really one or two shots with it today because again it turned out really really flat it's, uh, contrast is almost non-existent it could be, just be my particular lens but I have never had good results from it so yeah I didn't waste too many shots uh, with that Olympus 50 so there you go it was good fun getting out and about again with the old film camera lenses uh, you can pick most of them up really cheaply like $40, $50 Australian yeah results will vary as so many ads say <laughs> um, sometimes individual lenses let you down my Olympus might be one of them there might be really good versions out there but mine ain't one of them however the Helios 44.2 yeah far more versatile than its swirly bokeh okay use it for more than that because it is a really good everyday carry it's easy to manual focus especially with the peaking on the Fuji cameras so yeah I recommend the Helios 44.2 I recommend the Pentax it does a really good sterling job doesn't surprise you with anything it's got no tricks up its sleeve but a really good solid workhorse uh, the Interstars yeah they're not bad the Jupiter's not bad I think of the pick yeah it was a bit of a toss between the uh, Helios and the Pentax so there you go you don't have to spend a lot of money to get really good results it's a lot of fun playing around with these I much actually prefer to use this old manual focus systems and everything with old lenses than uh, all the whiz bang autofocus stuff that you can get nowadays. And of course, you have uh, great control over apertures and everything like that. So there's no fly by wire stuff here. You have to actually know what you're doing, get used to it, but it's not hard. If you can pick one up and they're easy to pick up, <laughs> go and get one if you haven't got one already. But whatever you do, pick up your camera, go for a walk and have some fun. Bye.